Mind the Gap is a performance and creative arts group mainly aimed at the older generation. And although it started 10 years ago, how did it all come about? So our task at Wiltshire Creative is to make sure that there's a broad offer for the whole of our community, regardless of their age or background or social position or ability. And one of the projects that we run is Mind the Gap, which has been running for about 10 years, and it's a lively and social group who take part in um, arts activities of all sorts of art forms. It's aimed at the over 60s, but we're not checking any uh, passports or birth certificates um, and we create a termly offer of a range of activities for example today the group are making some notebooks because next week they're going to be doing some writing so they've got their own personal handmade notebooks to do their writing in but last term they looked at song and poetry and performance and shared their skills at a beautiful performance at Salisbury Arts Centre. And why do those who participate choose to get involved? I've uh, been quite ill and very much confined to home. Now I'm allowed out on a short leash <laughs> and um, to counteract depression and being at home alone so much. I thought this was a good thing to join in with. I went to one of their productions just before Christmas and thought, yes, these are people I can relate to. So why does Wiltshire Creative feel that they are one of the best places to run this? There's huge amounts of research um, around the health and wellbeing benefits of arts activities on older people, um, both on social and skills development, so that's exactly why we do it and we're a multi art form arts organisation, so we're really perfectly positioned to deliver those high quality arts experiences. And although primarily aimed at theatre, it offers a variety of types of arts and crafts for people to get involved in. A very wide range of activities here, uh, you know, you're doing something different each week. Uh, some terms you actually put on a performance, so you've got a, a, a commitment there that you will work with a group of people to a defined objective. Uh, and that's you know, a good counterpoint to an activity like this, which is just a one-off, that we're all enjoying ourselves and doing something different that we've never done before. But what are some of the challenges that Wiltshire Creative face in running this weekly? We're always at risk of limited funding. Our participants move on, so we're always having to recruit new participants. And as an organisation, the organisa cultural organisations in Salisbury have changed significantly in the last 10 years, so the offer adapts with that. I think the key is that we do adapt. We adapt to what the group want to be doing. We ask them all the time, what sorts of activities do you want? And that's what we'll put on. And the benefits of social interaction don't go unnoticed. Our aim is for a lifted sense of well-being, to have a shared experience with other people and perhaps to have gained a new skill as well. It's the social side I'm here for as much as anything, yes. I mean, craft work I'm very happy to do on my own, but um, it, no, it's the social interaction I need. And it did me good. <laughs> Ian Sheridan, That's TV.